Which one's gonna be the new penny? <laughs> Hey, fishing freaks and everybody else. Welcome on back to the channel and to the treehouse. It's a nice, quiet Saturday morning here. Birds are chirping. Things are blooming. Stephanie just planted some, some new flowers. Peach trees going. But uh, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing the little clucks. I'm missing our chickens. And uh, Emmy is, is missing some chickens as well. So we're taking the family today over to a friend of a friend that has some chickens and we're gonna pick them up. He's got a, a bunch of different varieties. Uh, I'm honestly not even sure what we're getting. So this is gonna be kind of a cool surprise uh, when we get there and see what kind of chickens he has for us. I love my backyard, but I do miss those little mother cluckers, you know, just, just hearing them squawk around, letting them out do their bug destruction thing. Um, they're a cool part of the backyard experience. You don't have to have a whole lot of land to, to have backyard chickens, quite honestly. You can raise them in a very small area. It does take a little training with having the woods here for our chickens to kind of learn. If you go in the woods, you're gonna get eaten. And I just got a little too comfortable with our last flock and I left the door cracked as it is open right now and while we were at dinner, you know, the chickens went back into their coop inside of their run, and that automatic door closed, but it closed too late. Now for transport, we're just going with your old standard cardboard box. Just give it a little red here. And we're not gonna get as many as we did last time. I think five or six. Last time we had nine chickens, if I believe right which was a lot and when they were at peak laying season we had just so many eggs we were giving them out to neighbors and even with five or six it'll be just a little more than what we need at peak laying but during the winter months colder months it'll be perfect and uh, you know it's less feed i think it'll just be better better easy to manage so let's go see what kind of mystery chickens we're dealing with Mom's in, kids are in. Yes. Yummy, you ready to go get some chickens? Yeah. Me too. Okay, Emmy. Now, which one is Penny? Which one's gonna be the new Penny? <laughs> She was kind of a cream colored one, wasn't she? That's Penny. You think that's Penny? Yeah, that one's Penny. That's their Penny, baby. So we got a we got a new Penny right here. She looks like she's going in the hen house right now. No, she's like dark, dark orange. There she is. There she is, Amy. So I'm not sure if we can really pick these chickens up yet. Oh, she got one. Is that a Moran or is that a giant? Jersey giant. I think that's a mix. A Moran and a giant. Okay, there we go. There's chicken number one. This is Kyle. He's kind of giving us some of his chickens since he's got he's got a full herd here, a full flock. You do, all right. Good job, Emmy. <laughs> Good job. I'm proud of you, Emmy girl. Okay, Emmy. Chickens have made it home. You want to help me put them in their new coop? Okay, I got a little cleaning up to do. But this is it, guys. Got them. Just taking a little peek there. How you doing? How you doing? Apparently, some of these had some really good bloodlines, so I'm excited to see. Don't, 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 don't. We don't want them to jump out in mommy's car. 
Yeah. Don't want that. Yeah, we're gonna. Chicken. Daddy's gonna get all of them and we're gonna go put them in the run, and then we're gonna let them out. Okay. Okay. Oh, she really wants to see her penny chicken, her new penny. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get penny. Don't worry. Oh man, there's one in here. That Jersey Giant mix. Bag it. Here we go, Emmy. Will you help me get the door and the chicken coop? Mm -hmm. Okay, door's already open. Oh. Not sure there's no critters in here already. I'm gonna close the door. Here we go. They are ready to deploy. Well, they look kind of happy, don't they? All right, chickens. You're free. Look at this white one here. There you go. There's your new penny. <laughs> Way to get in there, Got girl. A giant, look at this giant chicken. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Look at you, look Emmy at girl. You, girl. Look at that little naked necker. And then that's the little Oreo one. Oh, there's a lot of poopy in there, Emmy. Yeah. So we really need to wash our hands yeah. after all this. Oh, they're already eating the grass in here. Oh, good. Yeah, they're we hungry. Do a little weed for you? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's perfect. What do you think? Oh, yeah. I think even number is perfect so they can uh, buddy up. Get the buddy system going. This little naked neck one. Uh, <laughs> it's a little interesting. You don't like that one, do you? We got a whole mix. I think I my think favorite one's going to be the little penny one. Yeah, I think it's a good mix. Oh, yeah, they're already oh, yeah. getting after it. Like this is, this is our new home. So, a couple flaws I got to fix. Chicken door. This is an easy fix. We just need to program it to shut at the proper time. And then we have a little open hatch right here where animal has uh, has moved this around and the possum is able to get in here. So I'm gonna have to close that off with some more chicken wire or something so we don't get some some aerial intruders. And uh, other than that though, everything is pretty much left the same. Right now I'm just putting in fresh bedding. So taking the old stuff out and um, uh, you know, it was it was only like a month old when I put this other stuff in there. It's just a lot of feathers from the fiasco that happened. So I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. And these are not uh, laying chickens yet. So these chickens will start laying uh, probably in a month or so. They're about five months old. happy. Got them a little fresh layer of bedding in there. So I'm using that hemp bedding which I can't recommend that stuff enough. It stays dry. I don't know how it's structured or whatever but it just does not get wet. It doesn't hold the moisture like cedar and pine chips so it just lasts so much longer. One of them has already jumped up on the roosting rack so that's good. I just need to get them trained on the nipples over here. Like they're getting getting thirsty I know you guys are getting thirsty I know you see this water coming out they just haven't quite figured out where it's going and this is how I've trained the other ones is you know just just hold this down they know the sound of water and they'll they'll come over to it and start kind of getting curious we have some sort of a naked necker um, there's like cream leg bar mixes with Moran's mixed with Jersey Giants. Uh, we just kind of got everything. But these little hens in here are pretty happy. They're just hanging, just chilling. And hopefully you guys are gonna start laying in another month or so. And they should be even happier because there's less chickens in there this time. But um, you always wanna make sure you have good ventilation in your coop itself because that is what you get uh, diseases and, and, and viruses um, with because you're not getting good ventilation through there you know they got poop they get they get respiratory viruses just like we do so want to make sure you're airing it out every day welcome to your new home it's Rackley Roost mm -hmm. yeah, oh, look at you look at 
the trio here. Yep, mom made it out of the house. All right, dad's gonna sit on the stump here. I got a little tree maintenance I gotta do in the, in the chicken grove this week. So you are actually leaving tomorrow. me tomorrow. <laughs> Only for a few hours. Like all day. Oh yeah. It's gonna be my first time alone. Oh. Taking care of baby baby Ben, my own devices. So <laughs> I think you'll be fine. He's the easy one. So uh, what do you think about chickens now that we got them in there? You were a little questionable this morning. I was a little questionable, but honestly, seeing Emmy with the chickens, it's kind of sweet. It's like back to good old times. You know? Back to good old times. Uh, we got some interesting breeds going on. Good selection, good variety. <laughs> I'm interested to see what kind of eggs they get. Like, will they be like all the same color? I think we're gonna have eggs? olive eggs, and then we're gonna have just like off-toned brown eggs. Okay, so, so super pretty. we're not gonna have any white eggs. We're not gonna have the bright blue eggs, or the you know the kind of the green blue green blue that's eggs. Pretty. That's because that's Easter eggers, which we don't have. But um, they're gonna be cool. They're gonna be cool eggs. Just cool your biscuits. Okay. Tend your biscuits. Okay. One thing that could happen though is we might have a rooster in the mix. I'm um, so these these are these were unsexed chickens, so we're not quite sure. We're we're pretty sure, like ninety percent sure. There's one. There's one in there. I've I've got some questions on though. A, that's a big lizard running through the leaves. Ooh. Big lizard. Chickens are eyeing it too. They're all over it. Like, what is that? But uh, if one of them turns out to be a rooster, I don't know. But wouldn't it already be roosting or like crowing? I don't think so. When do they get their crow? If Probably when, like, in another month or so. Yeah. Well, we'll that's it. just another adventure for us, Rackley. That's another adventure, you know. I mean, then we'll, then we'll have all sorts of chickens and be ready for Armageddon. I think it's good. You think it's good? Mm-hmm. Now, you've, you've just earned yourself a new responsibility here at the treehouse, taking care of these things. Are you going to be able to handle it? Yeah. You got this? Yeah. Have, have we named them yet? I only know Penny. She's named one chickeny. Chickeny? Okay, which yeah. one's the chickeny? Chickeny is uh, one of the white ones. I'm not sure. We've got Oreo is the, the Oreo. mixed one. Oh, she's got some great names. It, she's got great names. Poo Poonu. Yeah, old Poonu. And Tama. And, and Tama. And Tama. I mean, the list goes on and on. So, if we ever get a dog, Emmy, you, you'll be a good namer. You'll be a good jingler like your dad. Dog. Dogga? <laughs> Dogga? We'll work on that. We'll work on that dog name. But Coming over to daycare. The, back, the daycare area, <laughs> the back porch area. I wanted to throw this in the vlog because I think some people would find use in this. You know, we finally, Steph said we got to have a little back porch area. This used to be like my woodworking stuff, logs and there was a possum that lived under there, and anyway, uh, now we got a little. Mud. Yeah, it was all mud. Now we got a little living space, chimney. You know, it's it's nice, but it's still really hard. It's tough on the kids. So, you know, Ben is super mobile now. He's crawling. He is. Uh, he's to. getting into everything. He loves to wrestle with Emmy. <laughs> he's just, you know, he's doing what little boys do. Oh yeah, he's already being a little brother. And. Uh, I don't know when you got this, but we finally we broke it out uh, like a month ago, and it is just so perfect the way this this thing uh, collapses down. We actually got it for camping, but it's perfect for around the house. So if you got kiddos this mm -hmm. size and you need to contain them somehow, um, this is a good way to do it. So, and it doesn't have a bug net that goes over the whole thing. It does. Yeah, it has a shield that can connect down here. And uh, there's also a little mat me on the eye. right here, a little blow-up mat. So if he falls over, he's okay. So going on camping trips is great, but in the backyard, pretty good. So or the park, or just the park. We're just we're just all about it. You know, I come over here, Dad's grilling out a little bit, Mom's hanging out with the kiddos, but she doesn't have to hold them the entire time because he's just he's you know, everywhere. He's rambunctious now. So anyway, I will leave a link for this thing. Uh, ah! California Beach Co. Yes, makes this one. Yeah. But, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold just on. the way it unfolds. Hold on, is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. That's a daily occurrence. That's a tweet. Okay, right here. 
ready? Go! <laughs> Butterflies in my tummy. Butterflies in your tummy? Yeah. Yeah, you're going really high. I'm not going to lie, I get on the swing sometimes. As soon as I get home from the lake, sometimes I just hop right on it. Just a little quick joy ride. Now we got the chickens over here just to complete the ambiance. I haven't even heard a cluck. Like, they haven't even been noisy at all. Like our, our other chickens, they'd be, they'd be barking. They'd be noisy. In the kitchen, the OSG. Welcome to Saturday Night Meals, OSG. Maybe that's a new thing. Saturday Night Meals? I feel like it's an every night meal thing. It is. What do we got going here? Uh, tonight we've got pulled pork carnitas that I got ready before we left to go get the chickens. And I feel like you were a little peeved at me for doing this last minute, but now you're welcome. I had I had no. What, what did I say? Oh, I don't know. I was like, we were racing out the door, and I was like, no, we need to. Get, I need to get this in the instant pot really quick. About five minutes, to throw it in, and then now it's listen. It's hey, here. Whatever it takes for food, uh, I don't care. All about it. Uh, yeah, carnitas got some refried beans, cilantro rice, pickled onions. That's. That's a fan fave there, oh, pickled yeah. onions. Pickled onions, you gotta do them. Emmy calls them uh, gummy onions because they're like little gummy worms. She loves them. Well, I love them too. So we're now the coolest thing again that we've missed. This isn't the coolest thing about having chickens, but um, scraps, food scraps mm. in the kitchen. Mm. You got some leftover onions. Got some leftover rice. You just. Put it in the chicken bucket basket thing. I've been missing that. Which where is the chicken bucket basket thing? I don't even think we have it. We don't. I ended up throwing it away because it was so nasty. Oh, so I know man. we need to get a new one. We need a new one. Yeah. And then we just give it, give the scraps, give us the scraps to the chickens. They produce the eggs. Then we put them in our mouths. It's the circle of life. They just figured out the water, so I'm sure they're gonna hammer down on it. So in order to teach them, I basically just had to. Uh, take one of them actually just took two of them and um, I just grabbed their heads and I just pressed it up to the little nipple and then once they felt the water coming out they would drink it and then you know they just watch each other and learn it's, it's pretty much easy as that but you know they they've been thirsty since they left and they've just now figured it out so they're gonna get ready to roost but hey look guys we got some serious scraps going on here. I mean, just a little bit to get you started, but trust me, there's plenty of the OSG goodness here for you guys. You're not going to be disappointed. Hmm. Not a big Carnitas fan, apparently. I'm thinking this one could be a cock. Like, I don't know. I'm just getting some vibes. This might be a rooster. You're pretty tall already. You got you got pretty tall tail feathers kicking in. Saw your neck swathed out a while ago. It looked kind of roosterish. Little buddy here it looks like a hot dog wiener mixed with a marshmallow. Just uh, just sweet, just sweet little chicken. But I think little Penny here is my favorite. She seems to be the sweetest. You know, she's pretty, pretty easy to handle. I picked her up a few times, and uh, that one's gonna be a runner. I can tell you right now. Wife wanted a little chimney of fire, so we got it going. Sadly, throwing a piece of my one of my first bows in there. That's all it's good for now. Learn from my mistakes. And now it's just an offer to the fire. I'm gonna come out here. You wanna come out here? 
It's nice and warm. Oh, in. check out the fire. We got kids bathed and ready for just smell like smoke tonight. <laughs> A little smoke bath with some cedar to keep the bugs away. How about that? I gotta put my hat on. Oh, that's a good fire, Dad. Well, thank you. Just got it going. Did you uh, start it by yourself, or did you have a little starter help? What do you mean? I mean, did you do like a little rock? Hey, can I? That right there. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna make. <laughs> See, I know you better than to use I'm the old make lighter. A fire yeah, I like to. I like to keep the primitive I'm skills make a fire on point. Like this. Chickens are about to go roost, hopefully, in their proper spot. Got a little backyard situation, patio, mama's happy. Hey, life is good at the treehouse tonight. Life is good at the treehouse right now. No, so, we're not going to tell you the bad stories good. about today. Unless you really want to know. Okay, you really want to know. What was the bad story about today? Well, did they know about the rat? We had a rat for a while. We have like flies so just it's coming out. So well, a couple weeks ago we smelled something dead. And now there's just like flies showing up in a room that like there's nowhere for the flies to get in it's just like i think they're coming out of the vent and there's a dead rat in there that har harvested some flies so that's the only thing we got going right now that's <laughs> there's like a, always there's always something something the good news is it's in the basement it's in my room <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's not in the main part now yeah. all right my little chickadees it's time for you to start roosting you know what i mean they're kind of getting a little squawky. They're starting to get on the roosting bars, the roosting ladder. They're just not going in the hen house quite yet. Okay, this is where y'all need to be. I oh, know, y'all are talking. Y'all are ready to roost. So just go do it. I don't see any on the bottom. They're all up top. Amy, that's good. Give me a high five. Awesome. All right, they knew what to do. So the coop is set to open up at 7 a.m. So they can come out actually 6.30 a.m. So right as it's getting light. And I have it set to shut automatically at 8 o'clock, but we'll have to just shut it. I'm going to put this foot in. Um, actually, let's just take it out. They don't, they don't need that feather anymore. Did you get some Jiffy Puffs? Marshmallows? Jet Puffs, Dad. <gasps> Jet Puffs. <laughs> big stick guy. Oh, he's going to be a big fishing pole guy. I think so. Anything with a Here. stick? You take that stick. Here. I want to roll some marshmallows. <laughs> All right. Just wrapped up getting the chickens in the coop, and uh, they did good. I had to give them a little help, but they all got up on the roosting rack first night in. That is good. So hopefully um, there's none that are jump down during the middle of the night or anything. That's, that's usually a problem is getting them to sleep up there. If they get in the habit of not sleeping on those, those racks, it's just they sleep in their poop, you know, and it, it just gets gross. They have a chance of getting sick. So you definitely want them to stay on those, on those bars and stay up high and, uh, and stay healthy. So we finally have chickens back at the Rackley Roost. Should be getting eggs uh, in another month or so. And I think I'm gonna have to do, uh, do a little sit, a little predator sit out here. Um, I know the coons are still out here. I just haven't sat out here at night and really tried to plink them. I fixed, there's a little hole where the possum was getting in. 
I took a little piece of scrap wood, put that up there where they can't get in now. They're inside of a coop locked in, so everything should be safe and secure. So stay tuned. More outdoor action right here on the channel. God bless you, Godspeed, and I'll see you on the next one.